continue that march. And so that's why we need your votes. And every single one of you are, are the key. It's not, it's not any person. It's not any person that's going to win this. It's the values and issues that we hold dear that we will not let that flag get. Because there's, you know, our kids are coming. And they're going to look back and they're going to say, what the heck did you do? Yep. Yeah. Right? So, okay, so here's some Kelly friends. First off, I'm going to go first. First off, I'm going to go first. First off, first off, Delegate Cox, those kind of comments where you're separating the party is the reason why I'm at this point not voting for you, and I am voting for Kelly Schultz. Those kind of comments I would not hear from Kelly Schultz calling me a Cox supporter if I was supporting you. So that right there is where you need to join the party together and set up the divide. Bullshit. Hold on. Uh, excuse me? That's right. That's it. He's, 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 I love you, man. No, I told no, you. Hold on. I have my question. Let me ask my question. Well, don't don't fool yourself, man. No, he's don't. for freedom. May I ask my question? Please. My question is that I've been trying to ask is, and I've seen several of you. Ask it. Ask the Several of your supporters that are online saying the only way that Dan Cox loses the primary and the general is if there's fraud. So my question is, will you accept the results of the election if you lose the primary? And my second part is... No question, Can you please be quiet? You're a clown. Excuse me, may I finish my... This is what I'm talking about here. I'm asking a question and one of your supporters is being belligerent and yelling and calling me a clown. Second part of my question is, if you lose the primary, if you lose the primary, will you support the Republican candidate or will you continue to divide the party? Okay, I, 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 he's not dividing this party. I asked the question of Delegate Cox. That's not a fair statement. That's not a fair statement. I just knew you can answer it. I know Dan can answer it. Go ahead. Answer my question, Donald. Can you answer it? Answer it. How is it an unfair question? There were three parts to your question. Question number one was about an in, 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 inference, insinuation of dividing the party. Let me tell you this, sir. The only person that's divided our party is the man who put Biden in the White House, and that man still sits as our governor. is not worthy of our votes. Right. And that's not an overstatement. Let me tell you why. He was president of the NGA. He ran a shadow government with Cuomo by his side to undermine the president of the United States at every single point. Yep. And that was wrong. Number two, you asked about whether I'll support the winner no, or the no, Republican I asked winner. if you would accept the results if you lose the primary. I'm getting to that point. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm working my way back. So let me answer both in one question first. Will you? Yes. If you win the primary, so I will you, accept you as the Republican nominee. Okay, because I, I saw I something never, online that you said you would never support me because of I, uh, whatever you're doing. I have never said that. I've never spoken with respect to the Republican okay. nominee. Well, good. Well, then that's Will correct. you? I'm asking you. You're the candidate up here. Will you? Will you support the nominee if you are not the nominee of the Republican Party of America? So, so let, me, let me answer it this way. When Kelly and I have a debate, and we have the opportunity to answer it together, Let's wait and see. Kelly's already answered. I asked her, and she said she would support the Republican nominee. Well, that's yeah. great. I tend to be that way, by the way. <laughs> now, let, me just, let, me, let me just tell you something about who I am. Okay. My wife and I got down on our knees to pray about this because of the last thing that we had on our agenda. I did not want to be controversial in our party, and I knew that all of the powers that be with the money, people that support the governor, would accuse me of that. But I had to ask myself the question, a simple question. And it goes back to looking at our freedoms from a kind of a, a more uh, global or a, a bigger perspective. When we finish our terms on earth, are we going to be looking back and saying that it was right for the first time in 400 years to shutter our churches and to threaten with arrest anyone who would try to go to church or to go to a food bank, unless, it, by the way, unless you could go to Walmart or Home Depot. I guess we could have had a, we, we could have had a nice party, nice, we could have had a nice dance at Walmart. You know, they even tried to ban dancing. Lockdown Larry's a tyrant. And when we look, when we look at the principles, 
if if we embrace as a party someone who's willing to do that again, that's not a republic. I am a Republican, so it goes without saying that I will support the Republican nominee. The difference I have is that what concerns me greatly is that I am a Kelly supporter, as you know, but that doesn't mean that I live in a vacuum. The point that I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of your supporters that are going around, and you yourself have used the term rhino. Now, you're going to need a lot of us Republicans who are Kelly supporters to vote for you in the general. So my question is, what do you intend to do to bring the party together should you win the primary? Stand for freedom. Well, first of all, freedom. So I believe in your freedom. You might not believe in mine. You might want to have Kelly or Hogan take possession of my body and my kids' bodies and jab them with whatever you want. I've never advocated that, so don't put that in my mouth. No, no, no. I'm saying you may. But I'm glad to hear you don't. But that's who you're supporting right now. Now, until that changes, it would be beautiful to hear a change. It would be beautiful to say, I was wrong to do this. Okay, that would be great to hear. That would be a great step to unifying the party. But here's how we unify the party. It's not about, at the end of the day, Republican against Republican. At the end of the day, we've got socialists that we've got to fight. And we all will fight that together. I just wanted to say, when Kelly had her thing over, I don't know what they call it, I call it the old Holiday Inn, and she was asked if she would report, um, support the Republican nominee for president, she wouldn't commit to that. It's true, because she won't. I, I think we need that, to commit I asked to that Republican. question, and that's not what she said when we were there. She said that she would support the Republican. That's not what she said. We have that the meeting recorded. Accurate. We have the meeting recorded, and that's not what her answer was. Her answer was, yes, I will support the Republican nominee for president. We have that meeting recorded on our Facebook. That is another false narrative that's being put out there.